I am a single working mom with three children. Cool. It's a lot of work. <laughs> I'm kind of struggling right now, and I wasn't able to afford the, the full day of preschool for Jasmine. Tourists and people driving through see second homes, they see nice ski areas, beautiful scenery. They don't see the trailer parks where a lot of these families live. Those are kind of off the beaten path. And, um, and so I think that the perception that there isn't um, poverty here is a part of the barrier because it's hard to gain services if you are being perceived as not really existing in this community. Our region is a little bit unique in that we, being a rural resort region, I love that name, it's a ju I love the juxtaposition <laughs> between rural and resort. Um, you know, we really are a it, resort community and it looks beautiful, we're so blessed to live in such a beautiful environment, but uh, to make this resort community really work well, we need workers, we need families, we need children, <laughs> we live in a service industry with a high cost of living. So that creates unique challenges for families. So our, the partners throughout our region get together to really work on how to address those challenges so families can access the services they need and be successful. Do you know where your nose is? It's Grand County, so people that you work with at work are going to be, I mean, you're going to meet people in the grocery store that eventually you might meet in a meeting, and then you might meet at the restaurant an hour later. And, um, and so being a small community, um, everybody kind of knows each other, and you can really harness that to your advantage. One of the things that, you know, I, I know has really impacted some families on a really personal level and has really been majorly helpful to them has simply been to um, provide scholarships for low-income families or families that are in strange situations that may not even be normal for them to really help their kid continue um, their education and their early education in, in preschool or early care. With uh, Jennifer, a particular challenge has been that she was here looking for work, actively looking to work, um, but without having childcare, she couldn't take the job, she couldn't do any of that. And so one of the things that the council helped her to be able to do through some of her council work was access some tuition, some childcare tuition scholarship funding. It was just a quick fill out a piece of paper and, and let them know about myself and what my situation was. And within a couple of weeks, they responded to me that we got the grant, so that was extra helpful. My children went to a preschool last year, and by far this is, this is the best. They've helped out a lot. They've given me a lot of options, and I appreciate them.